Wow, That's Jackson. Nice. I'm the guy that paid for the Jake Paul antenna wedding. To be honest, I don't love shooting content now. Guys that use pumps. Stinky minge. <laughs> That's a red flag. It's the largest ass that you have ever worked with. Riley Reed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Shadow Band. We have got a very exciting episode. By far my favorite guest so far. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Riley Reed. Oh, and um, I guess Ryan's here too. Um, Aww. So, that, <laughs> How long have you guys known each other? Uh, like an hour. <laughs> no, you know what? We became uh, social media friends for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. But didn't we meet in person first? Oh, we did, actually. This isn't about us. It's about Riley. <laughs> Shut up. I just love the bromance. We met yes. in Vegas, actually. <laughs> we and met then, in Vegas on a bender. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just had the best weekend ever together, and then we became little friends. So this is probably my favorite personal episode so far. Thank you so much for coming Aww, here. I thank appreciate you. it. Um, so we've known each other for a little while. Yeah, we're like, like I don't three know, years, maybe three or four years, something like that. I think we would have met maybe 2018 or 2019, somewhere something around there. Like that. I think we first met from my memory. We're on a plane to Jake Paul's fake wedding. Yes, with I don't Tana. Know, fake, yeah, real. Who knows? I think it was fake. No, it was totally fake. It was definitely fake. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we went to yeah, went to the wedding, Jake Paul's wedding, and where was that? Vegas. Yeah. That was crazy. That was super that fun. That plane trip was fucking wild. That was fun, yeah. So we've known each other for a little while, yeah. and it's nice to sit down and catch up. I know, it's so nice to see you. I know, it's been years. It's been a while. I think the last time I would have seen you would have... Fuck, we're going, like, maybe two years back? Can I, I say think something? it was, like, one of the fights. You, you know, Paul's a, fight. a month ago, I was at a LA party, and this weirdo was like, hey, this is his elevator pitch. He goes, I'm the guy that paid for the Jake Paul antenna wedding. And he said it to, like, 14 fucking people. <laughs> That's I'm the guy thing. who paid for the I'm wedding. I'm the guy who paid for the wedding. And then I asked him, I'm like, what did that do for you? Did you get your money back? He goes, no, nah, I just did it for I Jake. I think I know who you're talking about. Is he like a beard? Yeah. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He was so proud that he just blew all of the money. Yeah, he said it was 300 grand. And they, they would have forgotten who he was straight and, away. And to this day, that's what he says at parties. So I'll shut up now. Yeah, no, no, that's a, that's a great statement. It was, <laughs> that was interesting. I'm not going to lie. It was a fun time. Oh, it was so fun. I had such a great it a, time. It was a great time. We got an Uber back together. Do you remember that? Oh, my God, yes. Me, you, Danny, one other people. There was like three or four. So we got yes. like a four-hour Uber trip back. I at do like, remember that. At like midnight to like. I do remember that. I, don't know, I think yeah. it was Pasadena or somewhere in LA at the time. Yeah, yeah, We got like a really like, yeah, it was a long Uber ride back. It was. Because we weren't hours. really partying, I don't think, were we? No, I was we just drinking. drinking and stuff. Yeah, we're just drinking a little bit. It wasn't drinking. too. I wasn't partying drugs. Partying to me means like yeah, taking yeah, more that's than what than I, I like <laughs> drugs. Taking more than no, just we drinking, we just more drinking. than drinking and weed. Yeah, yeah, because like that was, that was a crazy day, and then there was the fake fight, the the good old wedding, but and then we the fake fight. Yeah, remember the fake fight? <laughs> You're like the real wedding and the fake fight. <laughs> yeah, it was a, yeah, it was, it was it was a weird one, but I had a lot of fun there. To be honest, that was a good setup, like great production. Oh, I agree. I really thought it was like I thought it was really worth it. Like it, I had so much fun. I think it was like a beautiful, fun time Anything for entertainment. You know? Yeah, I was super into it. <laughs> hey, I'll let that guy know that you guys had a good time. <laughs> I did. really did have Please a good do. time. I His did. His money was well spent. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was fun. I remember that everyone was trying their outfits on, and the girls doing their hair and makeup, and I was running around in like these little short shorts and a crop top and like everyone's like who the fuck is this weird man and i was like that be me <laughs> but that was fun and then the challenger games was not long after that i think you were at the challenger games yes too. oh yes i was at the challenger games the challenger yeah games i forgot about that, that, that was games. it was like a youtuber like running race hmm. and i had the most fucking horrific back injury like weeks before it so i still went and had a run but you have the worst back of anyone it's been ever. amazing since my surgery look at my score why that weird that they went through your stomach to fix your back? Yeah, it's because like my spinal cord's in the on the front. Right. Most people's are on their back. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, anyways, getting back to the story. We've known each other for a while. Yeah. It's been a pleasure knowing you over the years. Yeah. And may I add, even though you're still very, very young, you are aging like a bottle of fine wine. Oh, thank you. Look you look better every time I see you. Thank you. Isn't still it? handsome yourself. Oh my god, I'm gonna Whoa! I'm gonna stop. I'm telling Tasha. I'm stop. <laughs> say that a man is handsome. Hey, she's allowed, right? It's not, it's not that bad. Yeah. And he's, a he's not that controlling. And he's super hot. I did briefly Pasha? meet him. Yeah, he's Fucking super hot. so hot. Yeah. He's, and he's Liam was like, saying that on the right up here. Yeah, he's a hottie. <laughs> and he's like, like a freak athlete too, which is kind of cool. He does like flips and shit. So yeah. Like, I remember at your guys' wedding, because obviously I went to your wedding, me and Maddie came to your yeah. wedding. I didn't get to meet him very well on the wedding. Obviously, there's so many people yeah. there, but 
That was a fun time. I remember Diplo was playing at the wedding. <laughs> wow. It was a, a very star-studded guest list. <laughs> Riley Reed. It was, and you looked absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Super beautiful. I'm not Thank a very emotional you. kind of guy, but I, I was watching her walk down. I was like, wow, she looks so pretty. Thank very you. Very pretty. Yeah, no, I was really happy to do my wedding like that because, like, after being in the career, I kind of, like, distanced a lot mm -hmm. from my family. And so, like, I feel like my family was, like, influencers. And yep. also, I was kind of inspired from the Jake Paul wedding and of whatnot course. because it wasn't like your traditional wedding. It was so fun. Obviously, that, was theirs sick. wasn't real. But it was just, like, fun. And it was friends. And it was just, like, such a great time and such a great memory. And, like, people still talk about my wedding where it was, like, the it. most fun. It, it was a very uh, I was there wedding. Yeah, like, it, a lot of people... A lot of people back home, they're like, oh, what was Riley Reid's wedding like? Like, straight after, I was like, it was sick. Like, yeah. it, was, it was actually so much fun. And, like, it was still I just very... wanted it to be a party because I was yeah. like, we're celebrating our love. And I didn't want it to be like dull and boring and, boring. and like traditional weddings and like, oh, you're falling asleep. Like, yeah, of course. I was like, no, I want it to be with like my young crowd, the people that I surround myself who have grown up with me as well as like Pasha and mm -hmm. like. Did you invite any of the industry girls? <coughs> yeah. Oh, you Lawrence. did? Yeah, Lawrence. yeah. There was, okay, because yeah. I'm, I'm seeing a trend that a lot of girls are not. They're keeping that out. No, couple, I think couple it just weddings depends. this year they didn't invite. They said, nah. Fam only. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's fair. I mean, to I mean, each their own. Like, your, as your well as like, there's was, certain. But you said fuck it, you mixed and matched. Yeah. Well, I only invited like my immediate family. Like, mm -hmm. so it was like my parents and my siblings. It was still very like sophisticated and classy and beautiful. Like, it was. Oh, like, yeah. As you said, it was a party. It was like a very like mature, sophisticated, like classy party. Like, straight after the ceremony, I remember going out with like having a drink and there's people doing like backflips and shit. Oh, yeah. We had the trampoline. Oh, trampolines. Yeah. Yeah. The car was like 30 flips, one in the back. And I'm like, yeah, this is in suits. Yeah, like, not people like performing. It's just guests. Yeah, family, one of my like... sisters did like a lira performance and everything, which is really sick. cool. So it was like we had acrobat. It was not that one. It was a different <laughs> sister. <laughs> Easily the coolest wedding I've ever been to. Uh, you know, thank another guy you. met at, at that party, that same party. He his elevator pitch. He was like, I was at Riley Reid's wedding. <laughs> he just went around saying that to people. Hey, what's up? I'm Timmy. I went to well, Riley Reid's wedding. <laughs> so get him a drink. <laughs> He's probably Pull lying. I bet you this guy wasn't even at the wedding. <laughs> no, no, no. But he was saying it. I mean, I don't blame them. A card I, too. I was there, and and it was a sick thing to be there. It was a cool thing to watch. It was yeah, it was a great time. Thank you. Yeah. It was yeah. fun. Easily better than the Jake Paul wedding. Oh, one hundred percent. It was also like authentic love and like <laughs> authentic friends truly celebrating. Was it better than your wedding? <laughs> You're a piece of shit. You are a piece of shit. And yes. Because I didn't actually have a wedding. I got married in an Orange County, Lachlan, edit this out, in an Orange County car park with a grandpa cut shaved into my head. Anyways, story for another day. Yes, me and Maddie were married. Um, I, was always, I always wondered if you guys were really yeah, married. Yeah, we were. I mean, the plan was to do a proper wedding after COVID. And then a couple of years went by. We tried living in Australia, back here, back, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. But um, obviously- You like, gotta love love. You gotta love love. I miss her. <laughs> Cut. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, coming back to like the wedding and stuff, obviously I've known you for a few years and like seeing you go from like going crazy in the adult industry, everyone knows you from that. Like it's a, it's a cool thing. And now married, you've got a beautiful daughter. Yeah. How is life as like a mom? Is, obviously you're, you're a businesswoman too, but yeah. how's life been these last couple of years since being married and kid, all these yeah, things? Yeah, it's been really fun. It's definitely been a different like identity process of me trying to of like course. figure out like who this new version of myself is. And so like, like I remember having my identity crisis when I was in porn being like, who am I? And like, what is this? And so now I'm trying to re -na navigate myself within like trying to parent as well as be like a business person. And so like, that's been really interesting. It's awesome. Yeah. As well as like trying to adapt to like the adult world, because to be honest, I don't love shooting content now that I have like a C-section mm. scar because yep. it puts like a date and a time a stamp. Scar. <laughs> yeah, that exact is, same thing. Yeah, that's like from like the 1990 <laughs> or like early days. They don't go this way anymore. Now it's this way. Oh, really? Yeah, they oh, don't shit. go up. It's I've been telling down. everyone that I meet asks about it's a C-section scar. <laughs> so do, do you kind of like, do you kind of like cheat it a little bit with like... No, <laughs> no, no, no. I don't care. Okay, but like, I, I only care in the sense of where I worry that if it bothers her in the future then it's gonna bother me if it doesn't bother her then it doesn't bother me mm. but i'm like i know that there's a timestamp, so i can't like lie and be like that yep. was all before you if it does bother her mm. but if 
if it does bother her, I can't lie. I mean, about from the things. outside looking in, obviously I don't know everything that goes on behind closed doors. It looks like you're doing an amazing job at being, oh, at being a parent. You. So like, and I Everin think so. Rather, he loves her child. I do. As, I love as, her as so much. I should. take her so seriously, and like, we're even like hiring like a personal educator for her. Oh. Like, we're starting like we don't we want to start preschool, but like at home, so like homeschool yeah, nice. preschool. She's gonna be a genius. Um. So like, but like I mil I made like this whole presentation, and like I like the whole hiring process is like it's very like a formal thing, and yep. I spent like a few hours creating this whole thing for the nannies that we're potentially hiring or oh, the you've got to definitely educators. Do your background research on who you're letting near not just your home yeah your and i like and want them to, to see the how serious it. i take it and i want them to see like i'm putting in so much effort to hire you which means you better put in a lot of effort definitely. to work for me for my daughter mm -hmm. so no normal school to begin with or anything like that no Honestly? But, but also i mostly work from home in my office like and you're and, around so like i want to be i can be with her but like not like all the always there because I have to check my is emails. Is that some big budget shit? shit? <laughs> Personal educator? That's uh, fancy. Uh, it's actually not that expensive, but I'm I'm like raising the I'm paying like sixty five an hour because like I am taking it very seriously. My okay. standards are very high in what I am requiring. I was thinking like a hundred like, k a year of vibes. That's there. I think that. Will, for what I'm paying, it would be like 130 to 140 a Let's year. Let's go, Riley. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I I, like... I, not only am I balling, but I like want to support the person right, who's yeah, like right. actually Definitely. providing my daughter with Make the proper sure education. Well. You want to know, like, feel secure. And like, yeah. Another thing is not to get like too political or serious, but it's like the schools these days are fucked. Like what you see going on in schools these days, what they're pushing on kids and... Everything As you just, become more of an adult, you definitely learn what the system is like more. I wouldn't want my kid, like, if I had a son, maybe I'd let him just go to, like, a school or something because I want him to play sport and shit, but if I had, like, a baby daughter, like, I don't want her going to school. Like, fuck that. Need little Jacksons, little Ryans? Fuck that. I don't want them, like, until they, like, change what they're doing in the schools, like, what they're doing right now and, like, making kids wonder if they're gay or straight and all, like, I'm, like, full supportive of the whole LGBT community, all those things. I always have been, obviously, but kissing and shit. But, I mean, like, <laughs> it's like I don't think kids need to be forced into that at a young age. Like, what I have a problem with the school system is how, like, from things that I've, like, seen online and obviously, mm. like, I don't know, but, like, they say how it's, like, your schooling system is, like, to make a regular working American. It's not, like, to create an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur. It's, mm -hmm. like, teaching someone to work at Home Depot. Like, that's exactly. what they're looking for, regular middle class. They're well, educating people to be middle class they're, they're creating not, npcs yeah they're not yeah. they're not trying to create you know entrepreneurial type people mm -hmm. and well so, you look over the history of time and like technology is constantly evolving medicine's evolving like the buildings and the world we live in is getting so advanced yeah they use the same schooling system they've had for the last hundred plus years and it's like shouldn't that be changing a little bit like and support kids like oh they might have like a special interest in a sport or yeah don't know, construction that's or like the the teaching method that we follow is like Montessori is yep. like the parenting it's either Montessori or Montessori I always say it wrong but like the whole thing is like it caters towards the child so it's like you have like the the items in the room of like the education and you don't you're you don't have a curriculum of what they're studying you what you do is that you follow what they're got if they're interested in like this math type thing then you just follow them there That's and you just sick. cater towards they that focus on that one good thing they'll become a master of that yeah. and, and they'll enjoy it they'll be happy they'll be more independent and they'll be more motivated to work like and me. they'll be more motivated to learn other things because you are 100%. teaching them how to become excellent in one thing so that i feel like you're giving them confidence in the mm. long term is that mm. you're building confidence and that's the most important thing is like teaching them that they that they are good in what they're doing and it's building them up and that will make them want to achieve things that they may be less confident in definitely i got held back a semester because outdoor ed we had a little igloo trip where you had to go sleep build an igloo and sleep in the winter i was fucking cold so I left, but that was the final exam to build an igloo. I said, I'm not doing it. I'm cold. And I got held back a semester. So if I would have used Monticeri, they would been like, Ryan doesn't like the cold. Let's keep him warm. Yeah, it would be like, let's Did have him build school? a hut at the beach. Exactly. <laughs> Monticeri. Monticeri, <laughs> baby. I, I fell asleep in all my exams in high school. I used to just fall asleep and openly accept the fact that I was going to fail. I feel everything. like you were an A-plus girl. I, I I took college classes in high school. I was school. really good at math. Yeah. Yeah, you I was very good at math, and that was about it. Everything else was like... I just did not want to be yeah. in school. Hey. I just like being smart. I like learning mm. things. But I you, feel you, like you pretend you're not as smart as you are. Riley, you're on Fuego. 
Thank you. You're like a business. genius. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It takes a smart person to run multiple businesses. Yeah. Agency is crazy. <laughs> it's the craziest thing ever. I did want to talk yeah. about that. So you've got like a cool like OnlyFans agency. Is it yeah. everything or just OnlyFans, social media? Well, our goal is to be everything. So like right now, our team is like training everyone, kind of running all of my platforms. And yep. it's like teaching them how to, to run it. All. And it's really easy to run it on my platforms because I've been on all of these websites for so years. So I have so much yep. data and like, that's, what's really great experience is experience and everything. Yeah. And well, just data studying the data is like, mm -hmm. what's really important. And that's like the most beneficial for us in our strategies and whatnot. It's like, um, collecting all of that information. And so right now we, we like do like marketing and branding and we like help with like social media. We help with like, um, you, you TikToks e or things. We yeah, well yeah, we Dang. do like editing. But you're the only stuff. one. No one else does that. Like, Thumbnails, this and that. Anyone Teasers, watching? If you're promos, looking for it. edits. <laughs> Yeah, and our goal is to, and we'd get some of our girls like sex toy brands Sick. and other things. Like right now, like I think we just like we got like some of our models like a feet finder. So it's like <laughs> some of our girls are getting paid like sixty k a month to just like post photos of what? their feet on like a Who's that? specific Who's that? website. That? That? Can I identify no. as a girl? <laughs> uh, you might be able to go on feet finder. You may feet. not have to be a girl. Scary? No one's paying for my. I, I'm not gonna say who it is, because it's it? not, <laughs> no, I can't say who because it's not my. It's not my place to. There's a professional. Tell. I never noticed this guy's feet. <laughs> That is a professional. I feel like she has nice feet. Probably. She has nice everything, so I can't imagine she wouldn't have nice feet. They're probably the greatest my feet. They're probably fucked. beautiful. That's 60 a month. Do you want to see my feet? <laughs> I've got troll feet. Yeah, those my suck. toes are all like crinkled. Yeah, they're nails. like stuck together. Yeah, they're all fucked. And look at the bunions on the sides. So I got like six toes. You nails. need a pedicure. <laughs> you come know on, you look, you're touched. so like a like a. You take so you're so groomed. Why don't you go get like a pedicure? Yeah, I hate people if, touching my feet. If we play guess that foot, it wouldn't go out with. I do face. not like people touching my yeah, feet. Yeah, I wouldn't think that was his foot. He's like such a manicured man. Can you whip him out? Mine? No. <laughs> um, no but like, I, 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 I have a baby now. I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long. You know what it is? Like, I don't know. I just never have given a shit about my feet. Like, they're never, like, really dirty or anything, but they're just structurally, they're fucked because, like, growing up, I never wore shoes or anything like that. And oh, yeah, I played that's rugby Australian for, like, way. 10 plus years in, in Australia playing rugby, playing sport. Not wearing shoes, your feet just start growing weird. And I'm just like, fuck it, I'm a troll. As long as I look good from like the knees up, I'm good. That's all I know. The your knees up. The right, the right woman will love my troll you're feet. You're really a neck up guy, because your back, your feet. My back's great, that's surgery. <laughs> I'm fucking like a rabbit again, baby. Are you? No, I do not have any sex. I'm lonely. You mentioned that. Really? You don't have any sex? Well, I mean, I've, I've had lots of sex through my life. This but year like right has been now. so quiet for me, though. What about that girl you fell in love with when you were in LA last time? You spent No, she sucked. You didn't fall in love, but I mean, like, I went on a date. As the only date you were I've been smiling on, oh, when she yeah. texted you, you'd be like, she said, Why? hey. Why? Are you just focusing cat. on business or are you just no, focusing on your like, own personal? Obviously, after my breakup last year, it's still, it's been quite a while since my breakup, you know what I mean? But it took me a while to get my head straight after it. Like, it wasn't toxic. We didn't fight or there wasn't anything too crazy. It was just like, okay, now that's gone. It's time to focus on life again. And, you know, I was in a really weird, vicious lifestyle back home. I bought... This massive house was throwing parties constantly, spending loads of money. I remember I saw on social media. Yeah, you were going so, hard. Cool. And with all that, you know, like constantly just in orgies, threesomes, foursomes, always stuff. Just kind of like Greg Gatsby of... wanting Daisy to come to the party. Yeah. Like, like the, the Bogan Aussie version, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, like lots of like just drugs and sex and drinking and partying and just not giving any time and attention to my actual health and what I wanted in my, in my you know. So after the break, I was like, cool, I'm selling my house to get the fuck away from it. I did my spine surgery so I could start training hard again because I've had back problems. Now I'm going to be fighting and stuff like that. I just like, now that I feel like my back's better, finally after eight years, sold my house, got away from all the toxic lifestyle. I think like just chasing women's the last thing on my like list right now. It's like, I just want to like work out, feel good, look good. That's good. Work on my businesses, just slowly get back into doing things I used to love doing. And right now, this whole year, I've said to Ryan, it's the happiest, the healthiest, and the calmest Aww. I've ever felt in my existence of planet Good Earth. Good for you. So it pays off, you know? Like, I'm not constantly chasing those highs of, like, I want to be the really cool person or viral or rich. I just want to be happy. I just want to be healthy and just be around good people. That's good. Do stuff I enjoy. So I think girls right now, it's just not really on the to-do list. I've definitely had my fair share of it. But like Ryan said, I've been on one date all year, and I was like, I'll give it a chance, and she ended up sucking. So I was like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you fucking it happens. Like? Do I have sex a lot? Yeah. I would say me and Pasha have a like fair amount of sex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd you. say so. so. Active active sex. Two or three times a week? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'd say like That's a lot. Yeah. Is that a lot? Post kids, that's it? a lot. No. 
I find after two years of like dating, like twice a week is a lot. No. If you live together. Yeah, we live together. We're together 24 7. Post baby once a month yeah. is a lot. No. Post baby? I dated a girl with a kid. We fucked like twice a day for a year. Because it was new. At the year you stage, said twice was... a day for a year. But she already had the kid. You have the kid with passion. Yeah, but I that's mean, different still. Like, yeah. I'm impressed with your numbers. My yeah. last relationship, we fucked no, a lot. No, I mean, no, I, I feel like I ask for sex a lot. So, like, and yeah. if not, then I'm just like, okay, I'm going to use tired. my toy. He's yeah, he, he, he does get tired. <laughs> <laughs> he gets tired. I love to fuck. Like, this is with me now. I feel like I'm, maybe I'm maturing, if you will. It's like, I'd rather just wait, meet a chick I actually connect with again, and then I'll probably fuck like crazy. Yeah. Because at the moment, it's like, can not be bothered spending my time and money on taking different girls out and dinners and... I don't really care what they have to say most of the time. Like, as selfish as it sounds, I'd rather wait. Be like, cool, this girl's fucking dope. We like align with a lot of things. Yeah, we can connect. That's and- how I feel. Like when you're trying, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. And, and yeah. when you don't try, that's when you just casually meet someone. Yeah. And also, I don't know. If, I've not been knowing where I've been living the last like seven or eight months. I'm just in different places all the time. But now I'll have a base like in Dubai, and I'm setting up stuff out here. So. Now life's like settling down a little bit. Who knows? Maybe something will come. But yeah. to answer the question, no, I'm not fucking. <laughs> Are you fucking? I've been I've been having sex. Okay, sick. I've been taking these new vitamins. This what is I, not a sponsor. Is it by the, the Pop Star vitamins? Maybe it's similar. I'm. I just got sponsored by Pop Star. Yeah. Is have you what? tried them? No, not yet. They're oh, shipping okay. right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I I don't know. I can't try them. It doesn't work the okay, same for it? me. So it's tree. Bark? It's supposed to like make your loads. Tastier and more yeah. voluminous. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. what can also do that? Maca, maca root, maca powder. It's like a root. It's... I don't know. It's for cum. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's oh. very... uh, you've tried it? No, I can't. With Pasha. Oh, n- no. Okay. No, no, no. But do you know anyone who's you might tried not need it? any assistance. No, uh, I I think, mm, no, I don't know anyone who's like okay. personally well, let me say tried something. it. I'll let you know. If you're dating Riley Reed and you need assistance in the bedroom, you, something's wrong. <laughs> Well, if I was dating come. somebody as beautiful as that, I would never need it. I would have to do that bomb hard. You know what? I disagree. When I'm dating someone, I get someone, nervous I never... by girls so high up on this. Really? Yeah, it's like intimidating. But you're I'm much man. better with like a four. But you're cool. You know what I mean? I feel I, that's that's fair. Yeah, I feel the same way even for myself. <laughs> if I was like, like for me, there's like certain even like if a celebrity slid in slid into my DMs, like if someone like Beyonce slid into my DMs, I'd be like, no, yeah, I cannot perform you for you. You would need a pussy good, right? I, I would worry that I'm not doing a right. good job yes. the whole fucking there time. There you go. So I 100% feel you. Yeah. Wow. There's like certain people where I'm like, no, I could totally eat her celebrity celebrity pussy or like Beyonce's untouchable. It's I can't. scary. It's I'm, like she doesn't I'm... want to give me head. She doesn't have to. Okay. It's been three minutes. Do you want to come up? Should I touch her? It's like a six. It's like just keep Maybe going. I just yeah, have there's... like a very low IQ because I just don't think too deeply like that. I'm, oh, just, like, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm make sure classic. that I do my best performance no matter what every time. I'm like, did I wash my balls today? Poor Riley. <laughs> <laughs> you know? A six. It's like who cares? I just played tennis for six hours. <laughs> hey, I've always said a good good base range for dating someone between a six and an eight. Yes. Because you chase a ten. The ones that are tens on the outside, not to be too like nasty a lot of time they're not very nice people Mm. when they're extremely good looking sometimes they're just narcissistic you know Mm. so i'd rather settle i'd I'd go for a girl that works at mcdonald's if she's a nice girl and she's somewhat good looking as opposed to some like 10 out of 10 hot girl just wants my money you know oh yeah anyone who just wants your money that's gross exactly no i think not the mcdonald's part Uh, like a six to an eight okay kfc who's working on her own life yes you know but not dependent. McDonald's. I've seen hot girls at McDonald's yes. drive through. We like that. Yes. That's I've fun. seen good looking girls at McDonald's <laughs> drive through though. We also love an independent man. That's mm. also so right. hot. That's a fact. And you know, I'm noticing a lot of the uh, adult stars, they're kind of dating these like latcher on or dependent guys. I mean, I feel you like- the only fans stars? Uh, adult stars. Okay. I, I, I don't say porn stars anymore. I say adult stars. Nice. Do you like that? Oh, okay. Interesting. It's the same thing, though, isn't it? I, I don't have a problem with the terminology. <laughs> I know some women kind of like cater towards certain words to me. I, it's just so clean. To adult me, says, I'm like, it's. I yeah. will never say sex worker. I well, think I that word the is. Adult industry is just like. I can't say it. More. Yeah. It sounds fucking like you're working in a Jordan sweatshop. <laughs> well, I guess sex like, worker. The adult, well, the adult <laughs> industry is just like a PG way to say it, I guess. Yeah, adult star is perfect. To me, adult, adult star. Adult I just star. want to piss anyone off. Anytime, there's times where I've said adult star and they're like, as opposed to a child star. <laughs> so like, sometimes people are still like confused. So it's weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. Okay. Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ask Jackson, brought to you by Joe Fortune, the world's greatest online casino, and my breast friend. <laughs> See what, nothing. Today's question sent in by Anonymous. As always, you guys remain anonymous. Jackson, why did you do bricklaying? It's interesting that someone knows this about me. You must have been following me for a while or heard me say this over the years. 
One of my first jobs leaving high school was at bricklaying while well, I was doing brickies laboring. Laboring as a bricklayer. Bricklaying laboring. Um, I didn't really want to do it. I just know when you're under 16 in Australia, I think if you want to leave high school, you need a full-time job. That was the quickest, easiest way out of high school. I went to that, it was horrible work. I worked with alcoholics, drug addicts, angry, miserable construction workers. And I mean, fair play to the bricklayers out there. We need construction workers. I respect and cherish and appreciate all the tradies, all the construction workers. They build the countries we live in. But unfortunately, bricklaying, there is a lot of them that are a bit fucked in the head. But how can, who, who am I to judge? Who am I to talk? I'm a little bit fucked in the head myself, let me tell you that. The next question, Jackson, what is your craziest experience with drugs? I mean, I'm pretty open. I talk about just about anything. I'm not a drug addict. I have definitely done different types of drugs throughout my existence. I'm never going to deny that. We're not perfect. We all like to experiment. We get curious. Um, craziest drug experience would have been when I did magic mushrooms when I was 14 in Bali. Or I did a guided ketamine trip in Los Angeles about three years ago or four years ago with a therapist and the doctor. They put an IV in and do really strong concentrated ketamine. It's supposed to heal PTSD, help with depression and anxiety. Things that I was really suffering from a few years ago. I am better now. I think as adults, we're always going to carry some form of traumas and have these issues. But as you get older, you find ways to cope and better ways to deal with it all. I don't know if it helped or not. It was extreme though. The ketamine, I was... I couldn't move. I was in a chair with a blindfold and headphones. I couldn't move. I was an out-of-body experience, which means I felt like my body had literally, like, I was just... I was physically there, but in my mind, I was weird. I remember I was in a body bag, looking out of the body bag. My family and friends were all crying around me. The body bag zipped up. As it zipped up, it was black, like three seconds, then boom, this tree just explodes out of the ground with lava flying off it. It was really, really interesting. I know it's helping a lot of people, even the comedian Theo Von. When I met him in Las Vegas, he told me he did three of them, and apparently it really helped him. So, I don't know, maybe it helps people, maybe it doesn't. I think it's all a personal thing, and yeah, that's one of my craziest experiences with drugs. I'm a crackhead. Well, there you have it. So you're <laughs> doing lots of sex right now. Yes. I, I Thanks got... to your supplement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, what's the supplement? supplement? So it's tree bark? <laughs> pine, bark pine bark. Pine bark. And L-arginine. 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 I only know this because he sent me this morning to look at it. <laughs> and when he said it, I was like, I already know all these ingredients. It's and amazing. Like, and so what is it? What does this do? Remember Director X uh, from the party? My oh, yeah. Legend. Okay. You guys keep in touch? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't even think I got his contact info oh. that day. Great guy. Yeah. He told me about it at your party, actually. Oh. Yeah. But what is this vitamin for? <clears throat> it just, so it, it says- It allows it, blood flow to the penis. It, it cures all uh, erectile dysfunction and- it just gives you that extra fucking oomph. And he's like, right. Why would I, I you didn't have, have erectile dysfunction? No, but he said, I didn't have erectile dysfunction. I'm just telling you, it just, it's like natural Viagra. Okay. And it's like, you so take it's like it every day. like taking testosterone. And yo, I started taking it and my dick, it's like, you know, after you come, it's like that nice, soft looking. It, I have that all day. It's like, I just showed you, right? Yeah, he showed me his dick before <laughs> yeah. it was soft and his soft dick was bigger than my erection. So he's doing well. <laughs> Which, you know, I don't have a nice penis, but it looks better. Yeah, your now. penis is all good. Really? Yeah. Thanks. I mean, like it's good looking. It's not massive. Neither's mine though. Do you, you know? feel any like side effects like blood, like a lightheadedness or anything like that? It's like, like really good for you. There's all these other benefits. Well, it's like a healthy yeah. vitamin, you know, it's not like a Viagra that gives you headaches and shit. It's like a natural supplement you can take it's regularly. The best. Oh, and send hard, it to me. you know, my purple helmet is like full. Whereas sometimes it was just like like that. You know what fixed you know what fixed me that gave me massive big fat loads of cum was training heavy sessions of like leg workouts. I never used to train my legs. I've and after this. my surgery, like you have to work out your legs now to support your back. Start training legs, boom. I like if I have a fucking if I start jerking off, I could literally get a vest. I could shower myself in a vest. <laughs> this is common. I've heard that it's one too. It's a vest of cum. Mm. I could just walk around and wear it, but I'd get in trouble. Because the legs, testosterone, testosterone, penis, penis, cum. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you ever work out your legs? Well, I didn't really care. I'd do a lot of boxing and a lot of like upper body stuff, but like I just felt doing boxing and doing skipping and running and stuff it was enough for my legs. And I didn't have tiny legs. I just didn't want bulky legs. I just didn't see the benefit. Like but... women love bulky legs. Yeah, and a booty. Women love booties. They love a man with. I've ass. been getting compliments on my ass lately, and I think that's. Let me see from... it. <laughs> Wow, that's Jackson. Nice. Do you shave it? It's coming through. Yeah, I can clip it every once in a while. I can tell. That's a nice in looking a ass. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> I do. That is nice. Here we go. It's my compliment of the day. <laughs> oh, that's a nice ass. It's a nice, do you want to feel it once? <laughs> yeah. Is it nice and firm? 
Uh, you don't feel it? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you work out your booty a lot, Riley? I haven't actually worked out since I had my daughter. Oh, wow. So, because I had a C-section, I've been, like, afraid to, like, go back into the gym. So, I mean, like, you still look great. Thank you. I'm going <clears> to <throat> actually hire someone who's, like, can do, like, PT therapy mm. with me. Because I don't want to, like, start working out and fuck some shit up. Because it still, like, kind of hurts you sometimes. You definitely take it. Just ease into that shit. I'm so... Yeah. My whole life, I've been super impatient, like now, now, now with everything. And since my surgery, I was like, okay, I have to learn patience. Because after this, I couldn't walk for like months. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God. They cut out three discs, put three titanium discs in and screwed them in and shit. Oh my God. And he's like, do not go to the gym. Do not go running. And I, I did get back in the gym like a few weeks later, just doing like one pound dumbbell curls just to get blood flow. But I couldn't like do any proper training for months. And Oof. I had the biggest PTSD, like to go back in and do like crunches and do ab work and do serious workouts. It, it took me a lot to overcome. Yeah. So, I, And it's I like, I, I agree because I love working out. I'm prior to working out. I do like two hour training sessions yep. with my trainer. Like I don't do work out unless it's a minimum of two hours. Like yep. I love like working that. out. I, like, I just yeah. keep going and going. Once you hit like a level of training, you're like, you could just go for the fucking yeah, hours. Yeah, and I trained for like years of my life. I started when I like was 22, I think mm -hmm. I was in the gym and I stayed in the gym ever since and I would do yoga and like fitness trainings. I used to do like CrossFit at one point. Like I loved, CrossFit. I loved fitness. I, I couldn't do it anymore because I threw out my shoulder yep. and I'm like too dainty for that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I was Fuck like, it, I was good. like, I'm trying it. And like, <laughs> yeah. I was like in the prime of my career. So CrossFit I was like, is weird. you need to like strength and good cardio and everything. Ryan's done CrossFit the last 10 years. Never have. I was gonna say you don't she look just, like it. Yeah, yeah. She just, she goes, I was like, where? <laughs> you still look good though. Whoa. You saw you me judge him so harshly. Whoa. My face does not lie. I'm hey, sorry. You still look good though. You know what? There's nothing like the breakup diet. I lost 20 pounds. I didn't do anything. I look great. And then we get back, and then I put it all back on. You know, when I'm in a relationship, I eat like a fat piece of shit. When I'm heartbroken, I eat like a. Like your meth, yeah. Eat like your own meth. That's fair. When I'm stressed, I don't eat. Like I, it's or when I'm sad, I don't eat. It's the best. Yeah. No, it's best not even that it's ever. the best, but it's like the I don't like. I'm not the type of person who like binge eats when they're sad. Like I just am like I don't have an appetite when I'm sad. Me too. Me too. I, my yeah. only time I don't really have an eating problem. I'll I have a peanut for the week, and I'll be like, I'm hard broken. That's it. I eat burgers and fries nearly every day. Oh yeah. Like I think for me, it's like I've accumulated like regularly training since I was like a child, you know, like rugby, weights, boxing, and I've never taken much time out of the gym, so I can just eat kind of what I want. Super Mike actually, in his divorce, 42 pounds, 50 pounds, break up diet, but yeah. you want to lose I weight? Bet, I just, bet she was like, where was that? When I was still with that yo, fat. man, <laughs> I that. bet she was. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. I mean, like, and you know what, Mike? <laughs> Looks like she needs to be on the breakup diet. That's all I'm going to say. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> you like that one? Oh. You like that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, That's but seriously, terrible. yeah, but seriously, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned breakup diets and stuff. Though mm. I've never been into that. Like, I mean, like I've never done that. Like after a breakup, I'm just like cool, back in back into whatever I was doing already. I just need to figure out my brain a bit. Oh, you weren't. Yeah, life. my breakup diet is more <laughs> dick. <laughs> like, it's just like <laughs> that would be that was all it was whenever I broke up with someone I was like okay no I'm dick. gonna go get a bunch of fucking dick See, that there you guys have it if my girl does that destroys me oh there you guys I don't do it, it to hurt the guy I do it to satisfy myself it's a fact so the yeah. QR does it work yes Okay, because I find after a breakup, I go do that and I, I, I get really No, because it's like, it, it, may, it fills my ego and it's like, yeah, I'm hot and I'm you're wanted hot. and people want me and I they love that. me and they think I'm so, so hot. So what you're and saying is the right And like, they like, can't last that long. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. It fuels the True. ego, it gets you feeling hot again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can respect that. So the best fuel for a breakup diet is more dick. Yeah. Unless you're a dude, unless you're a dude that likes dick. <laughs> well, yeah. But for most girls out there, I think a lot of girls probably naturally resort to that. I, I was pretty so. lucky. My ex just got a new boyfriend really quickly. I didn't have to go That's through. That's nice. I prefer that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, cool. She was living in LA. I didn't have to deal with her going and just bouncing around from group to group and doing oh. these things. Oh. Because that, that would have been shit. But I mean, at the same time, I went around and slept around. So I mean, yeah. it's like, you've got to expect it. You I'm not going to watch your stories. Oh my you, God. It's fucking my you, you can't be a hypocrite, you know? <laughs> But I like it. Say it exactly how it is. It's like more dick. Like, but for me, I was like, not banks. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst. Oh, I mean, why don't you try that next time you go through a breakup? Why don't you just try to get some dick? Just go hang out with banks. <laughs> <laughs>
But which banks are we talking about here? Like actual banks? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. I feel like girls go in LA after a breakup, they fuck, go fuck banks. Yeah. He's... I never did. Or hey, big Mike. I remember like his <laughs> ex girlfriend one time accused me of like banging him, and I was like, you're psychotic. Like you're making up stories out of your own imagination. Like you're crazy. The, I don't think anyone has more sex than that guy, though. That uh, guy fucks every day. Banks? Hell yeah. I haven't seen anything fuck from him me. in a long time. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. You held out. That's an achievement. He's yeah. not attractive to me. See, I like that. Like, not not everyone wants to just fuck people because they have, like, a name. I feel like, for me, it's like, I don't care if a chick's famous or rich. As long as, like, I'm going to be attracted to them. Yeah, I have to be attracted I enjoy to you. That, so I'm not just fucking with them so I can go, oh, I fucked that person who's got this amount of followers. Like, I want to fuck someone that's hot because otherwise I'm not yeah. going to enjoy Either it. Either they're hot or I, like, love their personality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it has like, to be one or the other or yeah. both. Yeah, yeah. I, so, ideally both. Ideally both. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, sometimes if you're on a Passion. night out drinking, <laughs> yes. fuck it. Well, it's interesting. After my breakup, I was like, eh, I'm just going to keep going. Now that I had my surgery, I was able to train harder. So I genuinely feel like I got a lot better looking after my breakup. Liam? <laughs> he did say I was good looking. Right. I think you're beautiful. Which, I think you're beautiful. Yeah, oh, thank you. Thank you. But I, I wasn't very beautiful years ago. No, I always thought you were attractive. Maybe because maybe I made you laugh. I don't know. Ma yeah, you do have a fun personality. <laughs> that could be it. Yeah. You know who thinks you're the hottest guy in the world? Who? Dark. My ex co host. He always talked about how. Your ex best friend? The best looking guy is Jackson, and the second best is this guy. Yeah. You know, I think like when God People made me, he's like, <laughs> God <laughs> made me, he's like, let's make him kind of funny, okay looking, but let's just give him a small dick so he's not too good. Like, <laughs> let's just keep his ego in check. Right. But at the same time, I haven't had any complaints <laughs> about the little woodpecker. I've had a lot of complaints. A lot. He gets really? them all. Really? He's, he's like my. Do you just not know how to throw down? No, I know how to. I just wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> equipped with the right tools. Do you know where the labia is? I know where the labia is. You also don't last long. You also don't last long. You always tell me you come uh, like that. But can you at least satisfy with your hands and your mouth? Yes. Okay. That's what I've always built my yeah. whole life around. Yeah. It was like, satisfy them with your hands, your fingers, your mouth, and everything else. Use all your lips. I feel like, honestly, if a guy comes really fast with your pussy, it's always like, sometimes you're like, oh, I'm annoyed. But you're and deep down, you're always like, I'm so happy I got it. Because if it respect. takes him like 50 minutes plus and you're like i'm ready for you to come and you don't want to come for me like yeah. you start doubting yourself and right. you're like what's wrong with me mm. like it's almost like not getting hard yeah yeah, yeah. i always i always prefer it when a guy comes faster actually because yeah, it, right? it it's, it's an ego boost it's a compliment to the chef yes exactly <laughs> to my parents compliment to my <laughs> fucking parents the they made a <laughs> good fucking pussy good. <laughs> i really like that compliment to the chef that was very good i mean like for me if it's fresh new pussy that I've never actually experienced, I'm probably going to come pretty quick. Unless I'm fucked up, you know what I mean? Then I'll maybe last a long time. If I'm in a relationship or regularly, like, fucking this person, I can last a good while, but... Yeah, I, I think like coming quick is not always bad because I can get hard again in like two minutes. So like, oh, well then yeah, that's really important. I can I can just come and be like, oh, sorry about that. Give me two minutes. I'll be back. I need about 24 hours. <laughs> Are you the type of person where you make her come first and then you'll fuck? Yeah, I try to. Okay. See, is it I because you don't want to go down on her because you came inside her? Like, or do oh, you no, not have a problem? I'll do that. I'll make jokes I've gone down on every girl after I've came, on, came in them. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, like, it's funny. Not every it's girl. It's funny? Yeah. Yeah. Not every He's girl. like cucking himself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his fetish. Have you, have you done that? Have I done what? Like you cuck come? shit? Like cuck? Re real cuck stuff? Not in my personal life, no. Okay. No. In my personal life, I've actually not been like, as crazy as people would probably think compared to like on videos like i mean i have orgies and threesomes which are like to me kind of normal in my world but you like pasha what do you bring girls in we have yeah no way. i mean not since we've so had if, our baby for, for, for work but... purposes or for fun or for both or for fun oh, okay yeah. sick yeah good for you wow yeah. any like names in the industry or like randos um, I probably shouldn't That's say. That's their personal life. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say because I also feel like it, I have to be able to get consent from the girl. You gotta respect both other people involved. Too, yeah, like. I feel like you, uh, True Kate. As you can see that going on there. Oh, I wish. No, <laughs> she's a babe. She <laughs> no, she was like with her dude before. Because uh, we don't, we didn't, haven't had any threesomes like that since we've had Emma. Like we, okay. we don't. We're just, not inviting girls over while she's sleeping. But you guys <laughs> just posted something together. You just did a scene together. <clears throat> you and Kate matching fits. You just posted. No, something. we didn't. No, that was not. That wasn't me. Oh. Me and Kate were never in matching fits. No, no. I haven't shot with her. Huh. I really want to shoot with her. Casual fan over here. I know. He likes Kate. Like, now yes. I'm just appalled that he's here. <laughs> you just posted a video Kate like this. wasn't in that. Oh. That was a YouTube video. Oh. You need to do your research, my That friend. was today. 
That was yesterday. It was a YouTube video. It also wasn't Kate. There was Emma, Man uh, Magnolia, Kazumi, Lena, Lena, Kazumi. And Kate. No, it was Emma Magnolia. <laughs> wow. Eva Elfie, <laughs> Riley Reed, Kazumi, Lena the Plug. There was five of us. She's here, Eva Elfie? Yeah. Isn't that rare? Uh, I think so, but she's here for, I think, six months because she's getting, like, I think her green card or something. Do you have any hot friends I can have sex with? <laughs> what? You would have some hot friends that I could have sex with. Probably. Beautiful. Yeah. Amazing. Just some Australian guy that's not extremely big below but knows how to use it. Mm. Surely there'd be someone. I'm sure. I'm sure. Anyways, I know we have limited time, so there is quite a few things I wanted to ask as well. Because, like, yeah. obviously your life's, like, super different as it was two years ago. Like, you're running multiple businesses. You're a family lady now. Yeah. Kid, a wife, everything. What is this? Sure. And um, what is this? Zen. Oh, I hate them things. Oh, okay. It's like tobacco or some shit. But, uh... <laughs> Pardon me. I did want to get the... <laughs> This threw me so off guard. Is that the things you gave me at Stagecoach? Yeah. You gave me headspace? Yeah, yeah. No, get that shit away. Okay. <laughs> so that hillbilly redneck shit. Like, yeah. No, so, that's not good for you. So obviously I you've like, been. since like having a kid and being married, so if you obviously have like distanced yourself a little bit from like the adult industry in a way, sort of. I know you probably still do content, as you said before, but. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've slowly kind of like distanced, but not that I'm distancing myself, but I'm like slowly like just and putting my attention in other yep. places that like I'm not as up to date with what's going on in the industry yep. so like I don't really know who like the new girls are or the new guys are like I think like at our Ashley's agency party there was like a new porn guy and you introduced me to I didn't even know he was a yeah. porn guy I, I'm, <laughs> I haven't heard of him yeah but because like I'm so consumed with other things and like I think I'm so involved right now like with the women and like building their brands outside of adult because like my whole thing with like my my agency and just myself in general is like monetizing yourself outside of just your videos Definitely. and having so many different streams of revenue mm. and not being only you know consistent on just shooting like you know adult that goes content for a lot of things not just like you know the porn world that goes for social media it goes for all kinds of aspects yes. like, even for me like i've always made content online and stuff and it's not always monetizable so you need to have other ways to like earn money through what you're doing of course so smart helping exactly people so we're and, trying to like help in that way and so like that's where my energies and efforts are so it's like it's not that i'm like distancing myself like i just am not as involved you got because more, you got more stuff going on that's yeah. like yeah i get it so like but you started like obviously when you were really young right i started 19 yeah 19 2010 yeah 2010 that's right so you got i was 18 and 2010 i think wait well, what year was i born 2010 right 1992 <laughs> Feature dancing. I graduated no, because I no, no, because I graduated high school right. in 2010, and so then I probably started feature dancing. Yes, and or stripping. I wasn't feature dancing. I was just stripping. Yeah, in 2010. And then. And then 2013, she started. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And then I started. You just pouring. came in, went crazy, blew the fuck up, and just became the queen of it. Yeah. Somehow. Sick. Somehow. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're hot and you're fun, and I think people... it's just like I'm relatable and I smile in my videos. Yeah. Like I think that that's what it is. And I'm not just like, mm, baby. Well, you've always been a fun. I'm like, ha, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've got a nice outgoing personality. It's yeah. Like, you're not like the typical like girl that's just that's doing it. It's like you've got a nice, relatable, high energy, just natural. You're, yeah. You're, you're well, raw. I think I also like when I started. I started because I was like, I'm going to be nobody. I'm going to be on page 9 million because there's so many pages of porn. No one's ever going to see me. So like for me, it was so easy to be myself because I was like, no one's going to fucking see me. I didn't feel like I was trying to be like the star or that I was trying to achieve anything. So I, w I never like felt like I was putting on an act because I was like, I'm just, I'm just here. When you're being authentic and genuine like that, though, that's when things work well. Yeah, that's what I always when I that's what I tell people. That's I'm like the when they're like, LA how do I become moment. successful in porn? I was like, you won't be because you're trying. Trying too hard. Like you that's won't be. That's the problem be. with a lot of people. There's not a lot of authenticity left in whether it's social media, porn, all these things. Like everyone's trying to be someone they're not, you know. And it's like they lose themselves in the process of not being real to themselves. It's okay to put on a bit of a character and a persona to sell things, you know. Like everyone does it in entertainment, but. I've noticed from like, because I've lived over here a few times and been here in and out of here for years. And I've watched like the wave of like TikTok generation come in from like the YouTube and Vine and all that stuff years ago. And everyone's just like the same. Like everyone's just trying to copy each other and do the same shit. No one's like, everyone's scared to be original these days and, yeah. and be themselves. Everyone thinks they're going to be like judged and criticized for who they are. Where I've always been like, be who you are. And that way you'll attract the right people and people will respect it more. If some people hate it and don't like it, so be it. Just be yourself. I agree. It's key to happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's a COVID cough. You know what? I just had the new one. 
The new COVID? Yeah, it's awful. And I just shared you a drink after asking if you've been sick, and you said no. That's amazing. Anyways, so what I would like to find out, what would be one of the most traumatic experiences that's happened in, like, the porn world for you? Oh, man. Ooh, the dead person rash. <laughs> No, that wasn't me. The what? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that, if, if it wasn't a dead person. That was your own story. <laughs> yeah, a dead person rash? Is this no, fiction, non-fiction? No, no it's, Harry, it's Harry just blurts that out, and then we got it. Oh, fucking, we went like this. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole thing. But no, I, I think one of my... I remember, like, one time I was shooting so much. Like, I shot, like, three scenes in a day, and each scene was, like, Different a people? swallowing... Yeah, a, Different, three different people. Three different people, three different scenes, different companies. And I went, um, and they're all like swallowing scenes. And I don't think I ate that much that day. And I remember I threw up at the end of the day because I felt like I was just so full of cum. So don't, <laughs> don't swallow one on an empty stomach. <laughs> don't swallow so much cum it, it on was, an it empty was, stomach. Different countries. It was like a Chinese guy, an American, <laughs> yeah, and a you Scottish guy. You can eat buffet, if you will, <laughs> yeah. from different nationalities. You know, don't mix your liquors. You know yeah, what I, mean? I don't know Stick what was going on with me. Africans, Mexicans, or Chinese. It was too much cum in one day. And I was like, ugh. I was yeah. sick. Do you remember who the guys were? Just so we know. Um, honestly, I I used to be with like a really bad agency before I got with Mark Spiegler. Mm -hmm. I was with this other one. It was like Dave Rock. No, it's called Type <laughs> Nine Modeling. It's not even around. Um, and so mm -hmm. like they're also like terrible and had like a bad reputation. So it wasn't Pillow Talk Agency. No, it wasn't Pillow Talk. But um, Motley. they were like not. They, I think that they booked me for some like escort jobs that I didn't know were escort yep. jobs. I oh. think that it was like, I was so dumb and naive and 18 years yeah. old. And I, so I think that there was like scenes where a guy would have a camera. So he's like filming it. And like, I think it's like a production, but it probably wasn't. Cause like, I don't think I've seen a lot of the videos of, uh, ever. Oh my God. And so like, there was like one where I was like, Charlie's angel. And I remember the guy was so gross. Oh <laughs> I was like, I don't want to do that. And there's a guy at POV. Yeah, it's POV. In a hotel? big guy, little guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Fuck me!" Yeah, it's a hotel. Do you think they were in cahoots planning this out? Yeah, I'm sure Just that tell my... her it's a scene. Uh, okay. I'll... Yeah, I'm sure my. I, that's what I'm saying. It's like a bad agency. That is sex trafficking. I mean, like. Whatever. Like, I, I thought I was filming porn. I had agreed. It was like there was videos and Yo, stuff. Yo, that's a Netflix so, like, documentary. It's a strong like, mindset. It's crazy. And I just don't know if it was... I just don't know. And, like, I just feel like that there was some, that, like, that... That would happen Yo, to a lot of people. that is so fucked. Yeah, I'm sure it's happened to quite happen a... happen to a lot of people, too. Yeah, you know? like, I'm kinda, sure. Low-key, like, no offense, but, like, kind of smart in a sense. Like a little no. finesse? I, I mean, yeah. It's, but like it's, fucking awful. It's, it's horrible and it's super <laughs> sketchy and it's really terrible and you sh definitely should never do that. No. But like, I, I'm sure that there was like some of the, I mean, in between I was still shooting like for like Team Skeed and Reality King. So like, I never knew if this was just some like clips for sale guy, you know, like I just assumed like, okay, like why would my agent put me here? Crazy. Like, you know, <laughs> like. Yeah. But, Motel yeah. 6 today? <laughs> that is but a it's definitely just, a traumatic experience. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean like at, at the time I didn't really know, but like, I don't really feel like that there was like suit like that nothing many crazy like. crazy traumatic. It's just like little things that happen here and yeah, there. Yeah, it was just, just like little things, but like nothing that was like, crazy like good for you for just bad. Like, oh, whatever just getting on with it and just yeah. not letting it like break you up too much you know no i mean i mean, I, I had like a bad childhood so yeah. i feel like Aww. it's really easy for me to be like okay let's move on yeah like you, so. you kind of like get what's the word you kind of get just like used to this it just desensitizes you in a way to like crazy i mean shit. i also just know that i was like naive and like i i know myself now and i won't like i'm like a no bullshit person yep. so it's like if i knew that that was happening now i just like excuse myself from the situation and i can't be mad at myself for being naive and not knowing what i was going through at that time for sure but like way to look at it. yeah what is the largest penis that you have ever worked with Probably either Shane Diesel. I don't even remember. It was years Do ago. Head, so the camera can see. <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know. Lengthwise, maybe as long as your head. Oh my God. How thick are we talking? Who's that? Definitely like. I mean, some guys like have long dicks that aren't like as thick. Like, um, do I? Great. Oh, thank you. I probably stink. No, you smell. You smell amazing. <laughs> Every time I've ever been around her, I've always acknowledged how good she smells. Oh, thank you. For anyone at home, <laughs> you guys are flirting too much. I gotta put hey, a stop flirting with no, friends. No, I know. Are you picking I've, up on this? I've known Jackson for years. We're allowed I'm like, to compliment each other yeah. without it being flirting. Her, so yeah. Don't show hubby this episode. Be like, no, that's nothing. 
What? Oh, just now, Why are just... you trying to cause beef and drama in my personal life, okay? Do you want me to do your podcast after this or yeah. no? Oh, we love Pasha. <laughs> it's not flirting because we're just friends, man. Yeah. We're we're always strictly support each other. I take it back. I know, we've never done anything <laughs> naughty even when with she each was other. Like, I know, I'm kidding. Even when she was like kind of seeing somebody I was friends with, always just been friends. Always. Guys, and, I would, and I would also compliment And even her. when I was like mad at that person and I thought about... I was like, no. Even when no. I was dating Maddie, I would still compliment her. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, so I've know. always loved Jackson. Guys, he's I like got joshing. such a good vibe. I he was, was kissing joshing. you. Like he's just got that like loving personality. I like, don't want to you... kiss you anymore. You've upset Riley. <laughs> <laughs> you've lost your I'm right not to kiss upset. Me. You've lost your right to kiss me. <laughs> Sis? <laughs> nah. But that's the thing. It's like, I think personalities like mine or even Riley's is like sometimes like it gets mistaken as flirting. You know what I mean? It's like. My husband's just... that way too. He like flirts sure. with like our cleaners every fucking day. <laughs> just happy, and bubbly like, people. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I am. I want to like make people feel good too yeah it's like, i know you're what just it's like. charismatic and charming yeah, if i notice good things i'll compliment them you know it's like you it's like there's not much to like i think i tell people when they smell good as well like <laughs> yeah i know it's just like fuck it but like that's the thing it's like some people can't handle that though it's like some insecure people like oh that's flirting and i'm like it's not flirting no i, I just have to compliment them yeah. you know i think once you like you have certain trust and respects within each other, then like I feel like you're not really worried about like how Definitely. the communication is going. Well, that was a good like, thing in my last relationship. I think it's like there was not that kind of problem, and it's nice to that because before that, hello, more girls just rocked up. <laughs> but like before that, there was always problems in every single relationship. Before that, with those kinds of problems, I was like, oh fuck, you just don't understand what I'm like as a person. Yes. So, yeah. Shit happens. Where are we? Forty-seven. We're gonna wrap it up pretty pretty soon. Okay. There was one thing I did want to do because I play this with much most people that come on podcast there's like a little fun game it's called red flag green flag so i'm gonna ask you like 10 questions okay and you say if it's a red flag or if it's a green flag and you can also add in whatever you want to say just so you know also i went on impulsive about a year after you mm -hmm. and i used the same microphone as you <laughs> and i distinctly remembered smelling your smell because i remember you put your mouth around the microphone and i was like is this the microphone she used i was like <laughs> <laughs> do you have like an incredible nose like it's, it's like a would dog you nose. be like the village like smeller yeah, like back in the 1900s a sniffer dog. <laughs> at festivals i was out the front like <laughs> 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 all right red flag green flag riley reed edition here we go is it a red flag or a green flag if he's extremely poor but a really nice guy extremely poor but a really like nice has no guy. money no job but he's really nice hmm. mm, that's a red flag yeah i agree make your papers like yeah. yeah, no excuses. Pay you have to work. Has a weak pullout game, red flag, green flag. Weak pullout game? Like he, he comes in you every time, no matter what. Like he's mm -hmm. just weak at pulling out. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. I think it's a lover boy, you know? <laughs> no. Nah. He wants to build a family. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go like 50 50 as long as the girl's cool with it. It's like, I don't want to constantly come in there because I like, I don't want to be like eating stale cum all the time. Mm. <laughs> I like to like do it, do it every now and then, you know, or do it when they're on their, on their period or something because mm. you know it's safe. Which is a big rule in porn. No what? cream pies. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? That's like the one. Really? That, yeah. I, I didn't do any cream pies in my whole oh, career. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. wow. Because yeah, I was on, on birth control. You know what? I hate cream pies in porn. What am I jerking off to? A guy moaning while doing missionary? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Next, Next, Next one. <laughs> he's a 10, but he's super religious. Is that a red flag or a green red flag? Red flag. <laughs> I think I knew the answer before even asking that one. <laughs> Agreed. All right. Men who don't shave like anywhere ever. Oh, that's a green flag. Yeah. You like a bit of scruff? Yeah. Like a bit of like manly, just like old I school I feel like that's manship. confidence. If you happen to be hairy and you shave, I feel like that shows that you're insecure. Mm -hmm. I feel like just, just like embrace me. it. <laughs> I feel like I mean, you should just embrace I it. I let my body hair and back and stuff just have hair on my legs and shit. But every once in a while, I'll shave like my ass and stuff just because I'm like, you know what? I want to have like a It looks good for your ass. Yeah. I mean, if I take any pictures or something in my booty, it's like, I want that shit to just be like smooth. Make that a lot I like honey. Pasha's hairy booty. I think Yeah, I think cute. most girls like it. Yeah. Any girl I've dated has always liked a bit of hair. It's like, it makes you manly. It's like, yeah. it's just a cool thing. Yeah. Next one. Guys that use dick pumps. Red flag. Yes. Oh. Have you ever used one? <laughs> He's like, oh. have you used one? I have this new sponsor, Bath Me. <laughs> this guy in Australia, by the way. Really? He just got approved by the Australian government that they pay for it. And then he made $80 million in his first month. Wow. If you have a certain size dick under, I think, five and a half, you can get it expensed by the government. And he crushed but don't it. Don't they only get you hard for sex, not for, like forever? No, but it, it, it kind of does what the, my vitamins are doing. They just kind of like- Just keeps people more- Yeah, I feel like yeah. If, if it's only a green flag if the guy's communicating with me that he does it. Because otherwise <laughs> I feel like it's like, it would be a red flag because now you're just like, you're what you're- Cheating. You're, 
not cheating. You're you're. It's an illusion. Yeah. You're being dishonest with me to an extent. I can respect that. Like. I think as long as there's communication, then maybe it's okay. But like, if if both parties on the side, but I mean, this is this is your question. That's like so if it's... I have like a bunch of like plastic surgery, and then you expect our kids to like look a certain way, and then you're like, wait, fuck, bitch, you had like a nose job and this and that, and like. That's a good point. Like, never thought about the noses with yeah. the nose job, girl. Wow. Yeah, I mean, your baby I, I, I would not agree. look like that. Yo, that's true. All right, the next one. When he doesn't like a finger in the ass. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. Yeah, insecurity. I don't mind a finger in the booty from a chick, not a dude. Or myself, or Damn. a massage therapist. Liam. We've <laughs> 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 been done in like two minutes, man. All right, the next one. Small penises. Oh, that's a green flag. You can't help that. That's there not you your go. own fault. You were Sweetheart. born with a stinky minge. <laughs> that's a red flag. Stinky minge is a red flag. What's a minge? Yeah. <laughs> Pussy. Oh. Riley understands. It's more British slang, I think. Yeah, stinky minge is no good. Honestly, I got so turned off sex for a good month or two. Because I had like two or three girls back to back with a stinky little smelly minge. And I was like, oh, just check your shit out. Like, it's not that hard to fix. Like, I don't like that. Like, if I go down there to have a little taste. Often it's i uh, I'm still going to do it because I'm just going to be a man about it. And I don't want to be like, I don't want this girl to go off and say that I was like lazy and didn't go down on her and didn't give her a good time. So I'm still going to do it. But it's like, then I'm left like feeling, Ugh. It's, it's like, yeast infections often. Yeah. And pH balances and sometimes UTIs or fucking all sorts or of Or bacterial shit. vaginosis. That's very yeah. common. BV. All right, the next one. Where are we? People that are like overly obsessed with the star sign stuff. Oh, that's a red flag. Fuck yes, it is. I fucking hate that shit. Wow. Like each to their own, but fuck off. Don't blame your shitty mood on the moon. Yes. Like fuck off. I agree. I you're not and, a werewolf. And I also hate how it's like every every horoscope has like negative connotations with it and associated and whatnot. And like one of them is like Gemini is like a really bad one. And I know my daughter's a Gemini. So I'm just like, fuck horoscopes because I don't want you motherfuckers talking shit about my True fucking that. Gemini daughter. Mm -hmm. Like get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. like, All right, the next when I'm sad during my breakup, everyone's like, what, what are you? Oh, cancer. Oh, of course you're sad. No, I'm, my I'm, heart's broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so stupid. Someone goes to me, you're definitely a Capricorn. I was like, what the fuck or does that mean? I'm a even Taurus for starters. Things, like, like uh, being compassionate, like to be compassionate is like a <coughs> practice skill. So like if someone's compassionate, it's like disregard any of their own experience as an individual person you're gonna say oh you're compassionate because you're a fucking whatever like you're a cancer so you're compassionate it's like no like you have to practice compassion in order to be compassionate so like you're now like saying everything that i've put in my life to be a better person is just like diminished and it doesn't mean anything it's, and it was all bullshit. by the stars Fact. there was a girl i was talking to and she ignored me for like three days and i didn't give a shit i was like oh whatever as long as she's okay and i messaged her once in between the three days like hey just checking you're okay like I i'm not if you need space, you don't need to talk to me. Are you okay? She goes, oh, sorry, there was a full moon the other night. And since then, I, my, my moods have just not been like regulated. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, now you won't hear from me ever again. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. So it's a big red flag, star signs. Thing? Yes. In the UK, they did a blind dating test where they had 2,000 people all meet each other, this and that. And then say, oh, I'm a this and I'm compatible with that. And it had 0.0% .0 proven <laughs> to do with it. The UK. I think people just look for any reason to not hold themselves accountable for their bullshit. Mm. It's like, I'm, I'm just glad they did this. that study. All right, the next one, keeping your ex's nudes. That's a red flag. Massive red flag. Yeah. yeah. Massive red flag. I had to set aside like a job for like a week to go through my phone after my breakup because like oh. obviously me and my ex did work together and obviously had lots of holidays and experiences together. It's like, oh, fuck. It took me so fucking long. Oh, yeah. You know, during my breakup, I would jerk off to it because I would miss her and it would kind of make me feel like I'm with her. Well, like, but <laughs> I feel like it's okay because you don't have a new girlfriend. I feel like once, oh, I, fair, maybe fair. once you have a new girlfriend, or she maybe, gets I, a new partner? maybe I think I said red flag because I'm thinking if she has a new partner or you have a new girlfriend, then if it's, both parties are still single, it's kind of in the middle. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, I think it's Unless not it's so like bad. Unless it's like months and months or years later, then it's kind of creepy. Then yeah, maybe I, that's, you know, like, should, I, I, should I text her? Should I text her? Jerk off to the nudes, and it's like a com connection for like five minutes. You know, <laughs> when the man is really dominant, red flag, green flag. He's really dominant. I feel like you have to be more specific. Like and just a dominant man that's just says it how it is. No, tells red you flag. what he wants. Red flag. I'm a dominant woman. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say you're you're a boss. Like I don't think you'd be able to to like I don't think you'd be able to. I make cannot it work. let anyone tell me what to do. I'd be like, yeah. get the fuck out yeah, of you're here. Too, you're too boss for that. I'm such you're a dominant man or dominant or non dominant. In the bedroom if the girl's like dominant on me, then I lose my erection. If a girl's dominant on you, you, know, you lose your Yeah. If she starts telling me what to do, I'm like, Well, my really? penis is gone. Interesting. Yeah. I don't mind but like, what about like around the house? If she's telling you what to do, penis in my body for the rest of my life. Really? Yeah. You know, 
I don't so mind are you like a man in charge? Do you handle your shit? Or does she not have a reason to fucking say anything? No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a baby back pussy bitch. Oh. But I need her to be like that also. We're oh. Just, so just, then who's going to change the light bulb? We're just both betas. You know? So no one's changing the light bulb? We'll call someone. Your landlord? Because you don't afford to... You can't... You don't buy a house? 49 an hour on TaskRabbit. I personally don't mind if a girl asks for something. And then during sex, so be it. It should be fair. I like to be the one doing girl to do something they're gonna do it in, in the bedroom you know what i mean like hey i want this i want that do this do that they do it all the time most mm. of the time so it's like if a girl's like oh i want you to fuck me like this today. i'm like cool i'll give you that see that's nice i'll give you exactly what you want right now yeah if they ask but it's like not every day mm. so just every wait so then. they ha if they ask and they don't tell is that what it is yeah yes okay yeah okay and the last one red flag green flag <laughs> joe biden I honestly don't know anything about him. I just know that he can't speak. Honest. I just know he doesn't know how to put a conversation. I've only heard that he can't speak. I only know that he can't speak because people have told me that he can't far, speak, but I have no world. idea if he can't speak. I've honestly paid no attention. I try to pay no attention, but if you open up any social media these days, it's the first things I see. I don't know why I'm It's not on my For You page. Mine Maybe is because I babies. jerk off to Joe Biden. <laughs> Maybe that's why it pops up all the time, but anyways. Cool. You do a good Joe impression. I, yeah, every now and then, but Riley hasn't seen Joe. I don't so even know what he matter. sounds like. Uh, but if you could do it. We're, we're at 57 minutes. This has been an absolute pleasure to sit down and actually catch up again. Thank <laughs> you, Ryan. I wanted to ask one final question before we leave. It's a more like just deep, serious, sweet question. Obviously, like a lot of women in the world probably do look up to you, you know what I mean, for a lot of different reasons, whether it's business or your confidence or your mentality, how you handle life. Would you have any advice out there for any girls that are in like the porn scene or the adult industry that are very afraid they're not going to like be able to meet somebody one day or anything like that. Do you have any kind of advice? Cause Oh, that's really tough. Um, I definitely think like no matter what, you just have to stay as true to yourself and honest with like what you're wanting, because no matter what, if you, if you change your ways of life, you're going to resent the person. Yeah, it's just the reality it's of it. You are. Yeah. It, you're going to resent them. And that's just the way that it is. So it's like, you always have to be able to be, confident enough to like stay to your own ground which is always really difficult because i've had many partners like i even had one partner like threatened to kill himself because oh like i didn't want to like quit my job for him and mm. stuff like that you should have bought him and like rope <laughs> but it's like it's, it's really it's it was really hard for me to be like i can't be the person to help you through this yeah. breakup in this time because i'm the one causing the problem because mm -hmm. i'm not going to do this so like it, it can be really really hard for you to like sometimes stay true to yourself because people will always challenge you and try to manipulate you and they'll use like really bad tactics to do so mm. so i feel like it's really hard to stay true to yourself but in the end like you'll always be happier and prouder of yourself for being a hundred percent yourself and then in the long term you may have to make certain sacrifices for yourself and in compromise. order to make it as like, long as it's like an even fair yeah. justified compromise to meet yeah. in the middle and just the thing a lot of people these days change too much about themselves to make the other person happy then over time you just start resenting the person because they're making yeah. you not be who I you think really a, are and i think the healthiest thing is for you to make yourself <clears throat> available or change yourself and when you're single not when you're with that person mm -hmm. so it's like that's like what i did where it's like i wanted a partner to take me seriously mm -hmm. i couldn't find anyone so i quit porn for two years like before i met pasha i was just doing like girl girl stuff because i was like setting myself up for success i knew that of i course. wanted to be with someone it's really hard to find someone in my industry on, on top of like there's you also have to think of like your pools so it's like when you make a certain amount of money it's like you when you're an average person money like maybe you're here and when you start making more and more money your your pool becomes smaller and smaller mm -hmm. or you're the, your celebrity status makes your dating pool smaller and smaller because maybe a normal person isn't going to be able to understand you. So it's like you have to navigate your dating pool and what you have to compromise within that. And so like I knew my dating pool was very small. And so I had to make big sacrifices like my career yep. in order to find someone who would take me seriously and respect me and honor me. And so I knew if I did that for the man himself, I would resent him for the rest yep. of my life. I did it for a choice for myself. So it's like whatever decision it is, if you're like, I want to quit smoking weed, but like he wants me to quit, but I don't want to, but like I choose to quit by myself. You're going to be so happy because you did it for yeah, yourself. You did it yourself. Like it's not genuine. Be yes. and authentic. Yeah. That's and even if you know you're ever. doing it, like, like I knew I was doing it for my imaginary future husband so it's like you know you quit smoking weed for your imaginary f future wife or whatever but like you know you're doing it for them but it's also for you but like i feel like it's an it's an okay sacrifice it's easier for you yourself. could not have 
given better advice if you tried. And I'm not just saying that. So that was amazing. <laughs> oh, really thank good. You. It was the best advice ever. Really? Thank That's you. helped me, and I'm not a girl. <laughs> it's helped me a lot. Mm. So now I think I'm ready to date again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Riley Reed saved the day. <laughs> Any All girls, right. let me know if you want to. Well, maybe I'll do like a bachelor series. You should host it. You should host like a bachelor series. I'm well, going on dates. We, we set them up. I'll do the casting. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> we just set them up with uh, Kazumi. Oh, I mean, he you'll love her. But she has a just, dude. Yeah, but... Kazumi has a boyfriend. But also, he's also night, jumping through a lot of sections. He's missed a lot. It, nothing's really happening. Well, we sent a video to her. She said yes. That's Kazumi. She said, depending on penis size. Right. And I said, I'm out then. Kazumi, <laughs> <laughs> you will have so much fun with her. I love her so much. You should get cool. her on a podcast. Yeah. She's hilarious. She's so fun. Her. I love her. She's always seemed fun on his episodes. So. Yeah, she's so she fun. She would probably fuck you on your show. Well, that would be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, guys. That is all we have time for. We went a little bit over. Mm. had a few little delays. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Riley Reed. Thank you. You are an absolute sweetheart. And we love you. Thank you for coming. Love you. Thank you. And thanks, Ryan. And thanks, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want COVID and shit. All right. Not. All right. Not. See you guys I'm now. Pure. I'm, I'm pure. Pure. <laughs>